everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be our books for second grade. Now, I just want to put a little tiny like disclaimer like I've done in other videos. These are the books that I have chosen for our year. It does not mean they're going to be the only books we're going to read. It also does not mean we're going to read every one of them. Uh, if interest pops up somewhere else, I am fine, you know, leaving these books behind and finding something else. As long as we're reading, it doesn't really matter to me. But these are the books that I sought out for our second grade year. If you haven't seen our curriculum videos yet, I'm going to link those up here for you guys. Um, this is going to be our year of magic is what I'm calling it. So where it was possible, I chose as many books with magical elements as I could find. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys our read aloud choices, our shared reading choices, and my choices for her independent reading. Again, these are just the books that I have purchased to be in our home for this school year. Um, there's no required books that she has to read as long as she's reading I'm a Happy Camper. Um, I am going to go ahead and tell you now what shared reading means for us because I get a lot of questions about that. We call them shared books or our together books. And what that means for us is that we literally share a book. So for instance, we would open, that was a really bad example because there's a picture. Um, we would open the book and whoever is sitting on whichever side. So if I was here, this would be my side. And if she was here, this would be her side. And we would read one to two chapters just like that. My side, her side. Simple as that goes. And the reason I started doing that is because she tends to shy away from larger chapter books thinking that she can't do it even though I know she can and with mommy sitting next to her reading along with her she has the confidence to tackle books that she probably wouldn't tackle alone now here's my sneaky trick to shared reading I always try to choose series for our shared reading so that once we've gotten through one or two of these books chances are she's going to realize that she can read them and she'll start taking off and reading the rest of the series independently so that is kind of my secret for shared reading to stretch her as a reader. So without further ado, I'm going to turn you around and show you our read aloud, our shared reading, and our independent books for the second grade school year. We will obviously be reading through the Magic Treehouse Merlin Mission book set because it is part of our Passport to More Adventures. And we will also obviously be reading through the Harry Potter book sets with our Waldock Wizards and Wands curriculum. I also have the Natasha Lowe books, The Power of Poppy Pendle, The Courage of Cat Campbell, and The Marvelous Magic of Miss Mabel for us to read through. I also have the Worst Witch series. So we have the Worst Witch. The Worst Witch Strikes Again, A Bad Spell for the Worst Witch, The Worst Witch All at Sea, The Worst Witch Saves the Day, The Worst Witch to the Rescue, and The Worst Witch and the Wishing Star. I also have the Polly and Buster books. So we have Polly and Buster, The Wayward Witch and the Feelings Monster, and Polly and Buster, The Mystery of the Magic Stone. Tom and Tallulah and the Witch's Feast. Hal's Moving Castle, The Borrowers, The Castle in the Attic, The Phantom Tollbooth, The Witch Family, Half Magic, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, From the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweller, Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim, and Artemis Fowl. One of the first series that we'll be reading is The Secret Mermaid. We've actually already started and we are on book five. So we've already read all of these together. We have the rest of the series left to go. Zoe and Sassafras. We've read all six of these, but there is a seventh one coming out in September or October. And so we plan to reread these together before that book comes out. The Magic Animal Books by Sue Bentley. I've got two of each, so we have two Magic Kitten, two Magic Puppy, two Magic Bunny, and two Magic Ponies. 
the Greetings from Somewheres book series. There are 10 books in this series. The Kingdom of Renly book series. So far there are 14 in this series. And the Time Jumper series. So far there are three with a fourth one being written right now, released in the next few months. Now, she has actually already read most of these Billy B. Brown books, but they are definitely ones I recommend for this age, and she will probably be reading through them again. As well as the Hey Jack series, who is the best friend to Billy B., so both of these series go very well together. Olivia's Secret Scribbles. The Owl Diaries series. These series hold a special place in my heart because they actually encourage her to start her own diary. And we are also anxiously awaiting the Unicorn Diaries from the same author. The Cam Jansen series. I only got her the first six in the series. I believe there is 30 plus books. So if this is one that she enjoys, I will get her more of them. The American Girl Welly Wishers. These are three she didn't have yet. So we picked them up when we went to the American Girl store for her birthday. The Fizz series from Usborne. The Princess in Black book series. A Billy B. Mystery series. So these are actually slightly a step up from the Billy B. books. So that's why I have them towards the end of the video. I don't expect her to be reading these until probably the end of the school year. The Pup Patrol series. And last but not least, because she loved Mercy Watson so much, I picked up the Tales from Dekawoo Drive series for her. These um, follow the secondary characters of Leroy Ninker, Francine Pullett, Baby Lincoln, and Eugenia Lincoln. Just so you guys know, these are not in color like Mercy Watson, but they are just as funny, and I do highly recommend them as well.